It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? Yes, dearie? Take that darling ship of yours down to Roseway, where that distress signal I told you about came from, and ferret out some tasty corporate secrets for old Gladys. Shouldn't be too tough for a lass like you, I'd think. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. I know she's in there, Empuru. Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Real skin. I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Ah, oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? Awful business, that. But why... how... No, no. Best not to ask after the gory details. Fine. You're free to go. I've removed the impound order on your ship. But before you go, I did have one request. Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? 
anything at all? You haven't read the posters? He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. What? All right, I suppose. How might I assuage your fears? Whom else would I work for? Those sublight thugs? That Tennyson woman? The sweaty masses in the groundside townships? The board is the only force for order in this rough and tumble colony of ours. Without them, we'd all starve to death or meet our end in a canid's jaws. That's a curious question. I can't say I've ever considered how my personal satisfaction factors into the work I do. Permit me to answer your question in another way. In Byzantium, I was one among many. I often felt, uh, lost in the hurry and expanse of the capital. Here, I have a measure of power and suffer little oversight. It makes for a different kind of loneliness, but it's one I've found I can endure. I understand. And I would ask the same of you, but I suspect... Well, I suspect I'd find your answers less than satisfactory, wouldn't I? Indeed. And you know where he is? Excelsior! An apprehension of this caliber will be tremendous for my career. I'll send you straight away to my superiors in Byzantium, only... Oh, la. Oh, no. Just a teensy one. The teensiest. Nothing to, uh, lie awake worrying about for nights on end or anything. <laughs> the thing is, I needed money. A lot of money. Quickly. For reasons. That's really neither here nor there, don't you think? No, no, I'm sorry. I really can't. I might have... pawned my official board seal to Gladys, the black market fence here on the Groundbreaker. I can't authorize the paperwork you'll need to turn Phineas in without it. To give away something so important to you, there must have been some curious reasons. I'll thank you not to question my motives, young miss. It was a mistake, and I'd like to put it behind me. It's only temporary, of course. I'd never leave something so important in the hands of someone of such a dubious moral character. I was going to buy it back once I raised the capital. So you'll need to get my seal back from her if you want to hand Phineas over to the board. You probably don't even know where Wells is. None of my contacts ever pan out. Law, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with?
Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. If you got a complaint, file it at security. You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times you have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Where are we headed?
I hear scary things about Monarch. Have you seen this man? Report offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. Have you seen this man? Report offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. I've got a fresh ground batch of Spratwurst cooking. They're terrified to lock in the juices. How about a grinder's dozen? Fresh from the grinder, any hour. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Sure am. A few years back, they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Charmed. It's nice to see the Unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. Is Ada still at the helm? I don't know how many times I told Hawthorne to restore that smartass to factory settings. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. Just like in the serials? If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested?
First, an embargo that's been active ever since the board pulled its forces off-world. Few regulations, plenty of freedom. And second, all the goodies that no one had time to pack. I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. Gladys at the rest and go might have what you need. If there's anything else, be quick about it. Time is bits. These days, the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors, where I can let my hair down. Our field is persuasive acquisitions. At least, that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes it takes a polite conversation and a shot across the bow. You know, legal formalities. Good girl. Knew you'd understand. Very. I have this thing about numbers in spreadsheets. Grids in general. I like to think of myself as the last honest businesswoman in Halcyon. But I'll settle for being the most organized one. Hey, careful with the C word around here. I like to keep things above board, and that kind of talk only makes trouble. Sublight occupies a legal blind spot. No one knows what we're licensed to do, and that gives our little business some freedom. But let's not tempt fate. be seeing you. Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal, promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. You stumbled into my court without an invitation, neighbor from above. If you don't have any business, then it's time to light up the grill! No one turns their back on me while I'm holding court. Get her, boys! Look out! Uh yeah. uh -oh.
And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? Spacer's Choice is enjoying an unexpected windfall. Sources credit of increased... Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Great! I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh! Your your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. My engineers have managed to keep the heat to livable levels, but all the fixes are temporary. This wound is bound to fester. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Sorry, I forgot not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense. But a freelancer like you is more dispensable. Nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. Yeah, huh? Well, I didn't expect her to be so tall. And did you see the size of her arms? What? No. Maybe? I don't... 
It's like somebody reached into my head and pulled out what I didn't know I wanted. You know how hard it is to find anybody who likes working with tools in a little town like Edgewater? I reckon there's worse places to start. Did you see how everybody on Groundbreaker listens to June Lay? She's just, here's how to fix it, and they trust her. It's just, she's calm and knows what to do. I wish I was half so confident. This is Halcyon News. Hey, you got a second? Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me, it's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot, that's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Sure, an interview. That sounds fair. I mean, first time for everything, right? Ask me anything you like. Are you kidding? I love a good fight. One time, I took an autoloader's head clean off its servos with one swing of a tossball stick. You can count on me in a scrap, boss. That's a promise. Uh, it's delicious. Mock apple pie and a triple kale crust? Maybe with a little cream on top? Classic. Foreman told me my biggest problem was that I didn't take orders. I told him my problem is not with authority, it's with jackasses. So yeah, I guess my biggest flaw is that I don't suffer idiots. Hope that's not a deal breaker. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. You got a crew now, Felix. Warning, intruders will be... Oh, it's you. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... There's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no, 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 no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Goodbye.
We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. No guards, huh? I like this place already. Obstruction of commerce is punishable by a fine of no less than 10,000 bits. I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. What do you think? I'm the landing pad guard. I was standing out on the fucking tarmac. Hell of a job until all this. 
Anything else you'd like to know? Distress call from here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Oh, before I forget, Anticleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Y yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I, uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. I'm not sure it's right to fault a man for trying to survive. An attack. One that I'd wager was due to the nature of my research here. My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. I cut the call immediately once I'd gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. Captain's got your best interests at heart, mister. Honest. I suppose it can't hurt. If I don't get that research back, my life is over regardless. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. Not just any diet toothpaste, the ultimate diet toothpaste. Oh, I'm certain it could be made into that as well, with only a few changes to its molecular composition. But you're missing the point. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us. Shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and key card. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork.
Of course they do. Please don't mistake my ambition for callousness. If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. I understand I can come off as manipulative and ego-driven. It's something I've always been forced to contend with. I don't know about Dr. Crane's research, but we ought to find Mr. Jameson. He's got to be all alone and scared. Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. Oh, you aren't with the outlaws? Who are you then? Oh, well, good luck. Now, if we got the carpet in here, it's just a matter of... Ah, more simulated. Just put it... Ah, of course... I am Orson Shaw, Chief Behavioral Scientist. I was brought in to study the Raptodons. I was to ensure that, should a problem arise, our team is adequately equipped to deal with them. As a matter of fact, I agree. They are insatiably hungry, absolutely impossible to control in any fashion, and indeed appear to be powered entirely by hate. No amount of studying will enable us to control them, or even slightly sate their aggression. Not quite. We are now acutely aware of their weaknesses. Bullets through the head. Now that may seem like an obvious conclusion, but believe it or not, some creatures' brains are not in their heads. Now if we got the carpet in here, it's just a matter of... Ah, arson, you idiot.
you picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cortez. But just Vaughn's fine, really. Over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back to, to work. What? <laughs> uh, I mean, we're surrounded by hungry raptodons. Who wouldn't be? Am I right? Look, I don't want to go back out there, but there's a thing I gotta do. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on a long while. Something that could really get me ahead. Know what I mean? Why? Are you heading to the lab? Because that would be... I've been extracting organic compounds from raptodons. Compounds that have, um, benefits. Extract and how? No, wait, maybe I don't want to know. In certain social situations. Personal situations. Where you might want to, um, enhance your charisma. Sure. Of course. Our lab's south of here, down the road. Not the old public lab, the one past that, built into the mountainside. My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself. Dissection tables and whatnot. It should have been running this whole time. Just grab the results and bring them here. If you have a buyer. I got a contact who wants to haul the entire batch to Byzantium. Help me out, I'll cut you in for a share. I'll even pay you before I am, when you deliver to me. No, I mean, nah. <laughs> in fact, don't mention this to Dr. Crane at all. Great. <sighs> uh, this is really going to save my ass. How do you suppose that stuff's used? Do you drink it or is it like perfume? I I'm not interested, just You're underestimating curious. the importance of the eighth back. Blankenship, she's okay. I got 500 bits on the Darlings taking the finals this year. The stats are better on the spacers chosen. Was that supposed to be the living quarters? Seemed about as livable as a coffin. The ventilation shaft runs from the...